I have a question. Does your wishlist look like this because there are way too many great games coming out? Yeah, I know, but I have good news because here are 19 upcoming indie games you probably haven't heard of and that deserve a spot on that list. What indie game are you most looking forward to? Let us all know your indie recommendation in the comments and let me know your thoughts on the games in this video. Let's start off with Eternal Loses, which is a direct sequel to the fan favorite Metrovania Eternal Noctis. This one is a Metrovania as well and promises a large interconnected world full of secrets, side quests and enemies to fight. Just as its predecessor, Eternal Loses will feature super challenging platforming, tough bosses and a bunch of cool abilities to explore its enormous world. If you played and loved Eternal Noctis, you probably really enjoyed this as it seems like it's more of the same, which is a good thing. Echoes of Mistralia is not your typical roguelike because this comes with some cool twists. For one, this will play more like an RPG than any other roguelike because there is a world map, side quests and most importantly an overarching story. The best part though is combat as you can create your own magic spells by combining elements with attributes and all kinds of other stuff. So we can expect a lot of variety and looking at the footage we have so far, the combat looks absolutely sick, definitely one of the most interesting roguelikes in a while. Toon Souls wears its inspiration on its sleeve and in case you haven't guessed it, it's Cuphead. Toon Souls has a very similar art style and even goes for the same kind of gameplay. Only super hard boss battles with a lot of precision based platforming. The only difference here is that all stages are procedurally and randomly generated. So let's be honest, that actually could be a bad idea. Almost as bad of an idea as not clicking that cute red subscribe button, okay well. But if you crave for that challenging arcade gameplay that Cuphead had a few years ago, Toon Souls might satisfy that need to get punished in a cute 2D look. Alabasterdon is easily one of my most anticipated games right now. It's developed by Radical Fish Games, the devs who made CrossCode, and this alone is enough to make my height level skyrocket. This action RPG will feature a fast-paced combat with a focus on switching elements and weapons. If this is any similar to CrossCode, and it seems like it is, we can expect combat against enemies that almost feel like a little puzzle. Speaking of puzzles, dungeons will feature a lot of puzzles inspired by Zelda, but not as much as CrossCode. And knowing that Radical Fish games are storytelling geniuses, the story of Alabaster Dawn will probably be full of twists and very emotional. Honestly, I can't wait to play this. If you want to know more about Alabaster Dawn, go check out my video, you can find a link in the description. There never was a Metrovania I am more excited for than Constance. This hand-drawn beauty is inspired by two indie masterpieces, Celeste and Hollow Knight. What's special about Constance is its gameplay based around paint. Moves like special attacks and dodges consume paint and when you're out of paint, you get vulnerable. Shortly after, your paint refills. It's a system that encourages a strategic approach to the cool boss battles and challenging platforming sections alike. I already played two demos of this and can confidently say that exploration will be a lot of fun whenever this comes out next year. Check out my video from last year if you want to know more about the game, it's so good. Possessors is the new game by Heart Machine, the studio that brought us Hyperlight Drifter, and it's a fast-paced action side-scroller with combat mechanics inspired by platforming fighting games. That's what this Steam page says. The gameplay focuses on short but fast platforming sections, a lot of movement-based abilities, and a large world that opens up with every new ability you get. Sounds like a Metrovania. <laughs> Story-wise, it's all about uncovering the mysteries behind an interdimensional catastrophe, which seems to hit the same mood as the studio's other games. If you're into that, you should add Possessors to your wishlist. Parcel Core just looks absolutely insane. It's all about delivering parcels to crazy looking characters while being the most stylish bicycle career in the whole city. The movement looks ridiculously fun as jumping around, drifting on the cars and driving on walls is super fluid and fast. You can even choose between three delivery companies and experience a fun story about putting an end to a mega corporation and saving the world. Overall, this game gives me heavy Jet Set Radio vibes and if you're a fan of that, Parcel Core might be worth checking out. Awaken Astroblade is a gorgeous 2D action RPG with a dark story about an ancient civilization. The main focus is an exciting combat system with a lot of combo attacks, parrying and hordes of enemies. Customizing combat abilities to find something that fits your playstyle is key. And looking at the unlockable skill trees alone, combat looks insanely promising. 
I don't know, this game seems to be in the same vein as After Image. So if you enjoyed that, Awaken Astro Blade might be worth a look. Croak is the most charming precision platformer I've seen in a while. The reason this looks so incredible is that the visuals are made by people who worked on Cophat and Rig and Morty. The platforming itself seems to be inspired by Celeste, which can only mean a good thing. The world is split into several different biomes that all come with their own twist in gameplay, and the boss fights look so much fun. Croak is for you if you love good platforming challenges and games like Celeste. Make sure to support this by adding it to your wishlist. 8-Bit Adventures 2 already came out last year, but this year we finally get the console release, so I really wanted to let you know about it. 8-Bit Adventures 2 is an incredibly charming JRPG that captures the essence of what made games like Final Fantasy so magical while adding many modern elements to it. Combat is inspired by Final Fantasy X, requires a lot of strategic thinking and therefore is really fun. The story is very meta, gets you to many magical places and most importantly, is really engaging and emotional. Honestly, don't miss out on this amazing JRPG. Soul Blade is a game that we have very little information about, but from the few things we have seen so far, I think it's quite promising. That's because this Metrovania's combat looks insanely action-packed and intense. I mean, okay, the trailer doesn't show that much, but the Steam patch shows some insane combat moves, and if this plays as good as it looks, we can expect a truly special Metrovania. I keep an eye on this game, so whenever there's news, I'll share them with you. Beyond Galaxy Land looks absolutely insane. This not only comes with an incredibly unique take on pixel art, which looks gorgeous, the story will bring you to multiple distinct planets, which is something I love in an RPG. The tactical turn-based combat looks great in the trailers, and the fact that you can collect creatures for combat sounds like the one thing I didn't know I wanted in a sci-fi RPG. Again, this looks insane, and the good thing is, we don't have to wait much longer, as this releases on September 24th. Another sci-fi RPG, but hey, I can't get enough of that. Haruka Beyond the Stars won't be released until 2026, but it already looks really good. It's set in a world where humankind has explored every corner of the universe, and therefore stopped progressing. Combat is action-based, and it seems like combo moves and team attacks play a big role. The exploration extends over several planets, which Again, I totally love. If you think this looks cool and have a bit of patience, you should add this to your wishlist. AI code gives me heavy Nier Automata vibes, which is great, I love Nier Automata. The difference though is that here, there's actually life on the planet. You explore vast landscapes and even an alternative version of Tokyo, by foot, with a motorcycle or even with a glider. Combat looks extremely action heavy and enormous bosses will definitely be a highlight. Overall, this already looks pretty promising. The only thing that this game needs is a good story. I will keep an eye on this one, for sure. Ah, <sighs> Sometimes all I need is a cute game and Hardforth Alicia might be exactly that. This charming Metrovania RPG mix features a character that excels both in magic and melee combat. And looking at the trailer already gives a good idea of what we can expect. This game really tries to find the perfect balance between Metrovania and RPG, as there will be tons of secrets to find, challenging platforming, but also deep RPG mechanics like crafting, equipment and more. For me this sounds great and I can't wait to get my hands on this. Anima Flux is a 2D jump and run with two playable characters. Both have very different abilities that you need to use at the right moment to solve puzzles, defeat enemies and overcome all kinds of challenges. That already sounds nice, but the best part is that you'll be able to play this in co-op. Yeah, I don't know much more about this, but the art style, graphics and the action got me hooked. Legend of Starcadia is another game that we don't have a ton of information about, but I think the trailer already shows what we can expect very well. This is a quirky turn-based cipher RPG, well we got a lot of these today, where combat resolves around time button presses. I feel like this game tries to capture the essence of Saturday morning cartoons, and I think it so far innates it. Again, this one lets you explore 9 different planets, which is a big plus for me. The Kickstarter is set to go live in Spring 2025, so we probably have to wait a while, but I'm happy to wait because this looks awesome so far. 
I got so excited when the sequel to Biped got announced, since this most certainly was one of the best co-op experiences ever. Biped 2 seems like it's more of the same, which is great. The gimmick is that you don't simply control a character, but each of their legs individually. So you use the left stick for the left leg and the right for the right, respectively. Maneuvering around levels trying to solve physics-based puzzles that way creates incredibly funny situations, while making overcoming a challenge immensely satisfying. If you're looking for a truly funny co-op game, play Biped 1 and add this one to your wishlist. You won't regret it. Legends of Elementia is another Metrovania RPG mix. Here, and you probably already guessed it, elemental powers play a big role. You could swap between 10 different characters, level each of the skill trees, craft items and weapons, all while exploring a vast world with Metrovania-like progression and an epic story. Sounds pretty ambitious, but also extremely good. If unconventional Metrovanias are your thing, you should keep an eye on Legends of Elementia. Alright, that's the list. 19 upcoming awesome indie games. What game on this list will you add to your wishlist? Let us all know in the comments and don't forget to hit subscribe if you love indie games, RPGs, Metrovanias and videos about these kinds of games. Alright, thanks for watching, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.